Welcome back, friends. It is time to get this shelter pup, Cash, a home, a forever home. Welcome to our friends Mandy, Maxwell, and Stella, her daughter, and this friendly blue Ooh. healer pup named Cash from Animal Protection League in Anderson. Ladies, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us. Holy family resemblance, first of all. <laughs> Let's just get that out of the way. I thought my wife and daughter looked exactly the same, but oh my goodness. We're so happy to have you guys here. How's summer going? Good. Nice. Good. You've been playing a lot with Cash, yes. right? Yes. Yeah, he likes to play in the water. Tell mm -hmm. me about that. So every so when I go to the shelter with my mom, we like splash him with the hose and he just like goes wild. Can't have enough so of it, right? Yes. Oh, that's fun. Let's talk a little bit about Cash. Yes. Yeah. He is about five-ish, maybe okay. a little younger. Okay. Um, he was unfortunately surrendered by his family. Okay. Um, they said he needed a yard, and I would absolutely agree with that, to be honest. Yeah. I think he needs room to run. Okay. Um, he's got a lot of energy for being five. Um, that's not slowing him down, yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Um, we think probably older kids would be best okay. because he does love his food. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so I just think not little toddlers that, that sure. might be crawling all around him, yep. messing with his food dish, maybe trying to steal a bone or yeah. something like that. So, you know, like Stella and my younger one who's nine, they're 11 and nine. They're great with him. Okay. He loves them. He's very respectful of them. Yeah, he's been a polite boy. Oh my gosh, since yes. He's been in here. Yeah. Yeah, he hasn't. Yeah. He's, he's just been running around sniffing. Yeah. He's going to get some water from, I guess, what is now his Indie Now mug. That's not coffee, um, right? No, that is we, not. We don't coffee. need any caffeine. Honestly, so many people ask us, what's in your cup? And they're like, is that coffee? Is that an alcoholic beverage? We're like, no, it's just water. It's water. So, uh, Cash, you just have oh, fun there, buddy. buddy. Aww. He said, I'm thirsty. Yeah, Thanks, that's right. So, Stella, tell me more about just your time with Cash. What do you love about this pup? He is so sweet <laughs> and he just like comforts me when I need it. He's yeah. so precious. Oh, that's oh, awesome. And he does buddy. have a lot of energy, but he's yes. not like out of control energy. Totally. Yeah. He's, he's a just... good, he's a good mixture. Like I think uh, he's gonna love to have an active family. Okay. I think we, Stella and I are high energy people. And so I think that's what she and I love so much about yeah. him because when we go, <laughs> he loves to, like Stella said, play in the water. We're seeing oh, there, video yes. of that right now. Oh my <laughs> gosh, yes. So that was last week. Oh my gosh, he was having the time of his life oh, playing in the so hose. Sweet. Maybe a maybe a boating family might be that's, good, or, yes. or, or someone outdoorsy. I definitely yeah. yes. I think he loves to be outside. Yeah, I would love to see him on a boat. Yeah, he's got some ups. Look at that. <laughs> look at I know. Look at his skills. I love this little dog. And so he's oh he's gosh. a healer mix. And when you yeah. said healer. I immediately thought of Bluey, the show, uh, the cartoon. Our oh my kids God. love Bluey. Oh my God. Now he's an American healer mix. Yes. Do you watch? Do you watch Bluey, or have you watched Bluey? I have watched yes, Bluey. Yes, it's a fun yes, show. It's it a good is. show. Let's talk about APL and how people can support it, volunteer. Maybe if they're thinking about taking cash home today. Yeah. Also, how they could do that. Yeah. So as far as just APL in general, you were asking how many animals we have, how yeah. many dogs. I mean, we've got probably over a hundred dogs. 200, 300 cats. Wow. I mean, we're literally bursting at the seams. Okay. So we just always encourage people to adopt. Yeah. And if you can't adopt, maybe you can foster. If sure. you can't foster, then donate supplies, yeah. food. Volunteer. Volunteer yeah. your time if you can't adopt. Mm -hmm. um, even an hour. And he's like, there goes Abby. Where's she going? <laughs> um, Abby, you've got a big fan. Yes. In, in he's cash like, there's over my here. woman. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> an hour of your time a day yeah. makes such a big difference to these guys. He's so sweet. Yeah. Well, guys, let's find him a forever home. Yes. You can give Animal Protection League a follow on Facebook, uh, yes. on Instagram as well. And uh, what's the website if people want to learn more about Yep. www.in apl.org. Okay, inapl.org. <laughs> Mandy and Stella, thank you so much. Cash, you're going to get a home today, buddy. Oh, it's, I it. hope so. You're get a home, I hope so. Awesome, guys. Thanks so much. Someone please adopt this little sweet boy. He's awesome. Hey, it's time to check in with our friend Jillian, who's at Greenfield at the Hancock yes. County Fair. Jill, what's going on, friend? Oh, well, Ryan, oh, from buddy. Animal Lovers in the studio to Animal Lovers out here <laughs> at the Hancock County Fair, I'm hanging out with five-month-old little Daisy. How are you, Daisy? Oh, I know. You had a lot to say earlier, but oh, yes. Hi, cutie. I'm hanging out with royalty as well. Oh, thank you. Tasty little mic there, a little snack. And I'm hanging out with the ladies who help make this all a really fun experience for people here. So Claire Bishop, who you may remember from last year because she's gone on to a whole other level, which we're gonna talk about. And then Emily Grant, who is the Hancock County Fair Queen this year. Congratulations. And this is your sweet Daisy, right? Yes, she is. So she is my 
beef project for next year, actually. So I'll actually show her this year as a feeder calf, and then I'll show her again next year as my heifer. So now I know this fair is big. There's so much going on. I want to get a quick check with them with our other ladies here. If you could introduce your name and title. Hi, so I am Addison Buckley. I am a 2023 Hancock County court member, and I am also the 2023 Miss Congeniality. Wonderful. I'm Haley Condry, and I'm the 2023 court member. Wonderful. Hi, ladies. I'm Bella Turner and I'm the 2023 princess. Hi, I'm Amelia Stone and I'm a 2023 court member. Awesome. Well, I love the fact that there's just so much going on. There's food, there's live entertainment, there's animals. Now, I want to give a little overview, Claire, for anybody that doesn't know. Now, they might have seen you last year and you've gone on to the next level. Correct. So I was the 2022 Hancock County 4-H Fair Queen. Then I was actually the first representative from Hancock County to go on to win the Indiana State Fair Queen pageant. So this summer I will represent the great Indiana State Fair by traveling to approximately 45 different county fairs, representing the fair, and then serving as the official hostess of the 2023 Indiana State Fair. That's awesome. Daisy was just cheering for you. She yeah, was she like, was. yeah, girl. And I know you are the youngest, actually, to have this title. Correct. That's incredible. Representing Hancock County in this way. For anybody who hasn't been out here, why should they come out? You should come out because not only do you get lots of good fair food, you get to see animals celebrate the agriculture and celebrate all the hard work that so many of these 4-H'ers put in year round to make this possible. So lots of good entertainment, lots of good fair food, animals. You can come see all of us. We'll be out here the rest of the week and the weather is perfect. Yes, it's nice out. I just had my love and shake up. I'm hanging out. I want to learn a little bit more about Daisy five months old such a little sweetheart now you've had her since birth right yes i actually raised her so i <laughs> bought her mom well i raised her mom actually so her grandma technically i bought she was my first show cow that i actually bought and then she had a baby which was her mom and i have raised her since birth so she has actually been on our farm the entire time since she was a baby so oh, adorable. What's your favorite part about showing Sweet Daisy or any of the animals and being a part of this? Yeah, my favorite part is just truly my passion for agriculture. So whether that's in the show ring or just being out and advocating for agriculture and just having that drive and passion for it and just showing everyone what this truly is and what the industry actually is and the industry that feeds the world. So. I'm overwhelmed in a, in a great way because I'm just looking around seeing all the animals. Okay, really quick, we're wrapping it up. I want to know, speed round, everybody's go-to food so that people can get excited about coming out here. Okay, what do you think? Oh, the sirloin tips here are amazing. Ooh, sounds good. Fried Oreos all the way. They're so good here. Nice. We have a little chicken and noodle stand. That's my favorite. Yeah, I would say definitely the grilled cheese that we have here. It's ginormous cookies. Definitely need to try them. <laughs> Funnel cakes, for sure. <laughs> All the fair food. And, and Daisy, I'm sure you have your favorites as well. Thank you, ladies. Now I'm hungry. You guys got to check it out. You can check it out online. We have information popping up on the screen. Still so much more to see and do out here. And congratulations to all of you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Daisy. We're going to send it back. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh man, we uh, we might want to disinfect that microphone afterward. I was really hoping that Daisy was going to move right into it. She was pretty vocal throughout the entire segment. She's a sweetheart. Thanks, Jill. Hey, still to come, we'll tell you how you can win tickets to see Broadway star and Ball State alumna Kirsten Hodgins show this Saturday at the Cabaret downtown. It's one of Indy's best theaters. You do not want to miss it. We'll be right back, friends. Stick around.